In this lesson, we are going to do a sample MCQ practice question on DC circuit analysis. So this is a sample question. Um, the diagram shows three identical bulbs A, B, and C. Okay, sorry, one, two, and three connected in a circuit. What will happen to the brightness of the light bulbs when the resistance of this real stat uh, changes or increase? These are choices A, B, C, D. Okay, take a careful look at it and make a choice. Okay, you may pause the video to do this question. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is D. Bulb 1 will be dimmer, Bulb 2 will be brighter, and Bulb 3 will be dimmer. Okay, so how do we do this? The concept applied is that a brighter light bulb indicates an increase in current through the bulb and a dimmer light bulb indicates a decrease in current through the bulb. So we need to find out what is the effect that does the increase in resistance of the real step would have on the current on light bulb 1, 2, and 3. So um, for this question, though the values of circuits are not given, a little trick to solve this question is actually to assign the values by ourselves. The main purpose is to see by increasing the resistance of the real step then how would uh, current flowing in I1, I2, and I3 would change. So let's just give the resistance of light bulb to be of some value of uh, light bulbs to be 1 ohm. Okay, and the resistance of real stat also 1 ohm. And the battery of the voltage is 5 volts. So uh, note that the values used are just any numbers at will. But obviously we would assign numbers such as this uh, ridiculous 1, 2, 3, 0.45 ohms for the light bulbs. Just assign simple numbers like 1, 2, 5, 10, or 4, or 8, so that our calculations is likely to be simpler. Uh, I'll assume that you have a bit of prior knowledge. You need to know how to find the total resistance uh, for resistors in series and resistors uh, arranged in parallel. I also assume that you know Ohm's law, where I equals to V over R. So, First step, you need to calculate the uh, resistance of the circuit. So in this case, is the lamp 1 and the resistor is in series, and then it is parallel with light 2. And after that, you combine this entire thing, and it is in series with light 3. So generally, this is how it's going to be like. So in terms of calculation, you need to calculate, um, you need to calculate this Okay, so this will be half plus 1 over 1, because it's 1 ohm, and then this parallel, so you need to inverse it, and then it is in series with light 3. So the resistance in total is 1 and 2 third. I'll leave it in fraction because it's easier for uh, in terms of calculation. So um, the current that's coming out of the battery would be just the voltage of the battery divided by the total resistance. So is 5 divided by this 1 and 2 third, so you have 3 ampere. So generally you find that you have uh, 3 ampere that's coming up, and subsequently there will be 3 ampere that is flowing through the light bulb tree. Okay. So next step we calculate what is the voltage or potential difference across this light bulb. Since we know that this one is 1 ohm and the current is flowing through is 3 ampere, we should be able to easily find out what is the voltage of the uh, light bulb tree. In this case, it's just using Ohm's law. It is 3 volts. Why do we want to find this? It's because we want to find the voltage across this. So this is 3 volts. Um, the voltage of battery is 5 volts. So you can actually make an inference that this is 3, this is 5. This must be 2 volts. So knowing that the potential difference for V2 is uh, 2 volts, then um, we are able to find I2 because since we know R2 is actually 1 ohm. So again, you apply to Ohm's law. So you know that in this case, the current is 2 ampere. Now, the last one is that we are supposed to find out what is the current that is flowing through the uh, light bulb 1. Again, we know that the current that is coming out is out of the battery is 3 ampere, and this is 2 ampere, so which means that this one must be left with 1 ampere. So this is this is a step. So I two plus I one equals to I three. So uh, 
you just made a subtraction, 3 minus 2 will be equals to 1. So in summary, I1 is 1 ampere, I2 is 2 ampere, I3 is 3 ampere. Next, um, since we want to know what is the effect of increasing the resistance on the current that is flowing through here, then we just, uh, again we assume that right now from 1 ohm we increase to 2 ohm. Okay, it's up to you how many, how much you want to increase by. I'll just put an arbitrary number increase by uh, 1 to 2. So I'll repeat the calculations. Again, calculate the total resistance. Okay, I'm just going to quickly run through this. Okay. But you find that if you increase the resistance to 2 ohm, this is 1 ohm, this is 1 ohm, okay, what will happen is that the total resistance in this case will no longer be 1 and 2 third but rather it will become 1 and 3 quarter if you follow the same steps and the total resistance increase. What's the implication? In this case the implication is that if the total resistance increase the current that's coming out of the battery will be uh, reduced. Okay, in this case uh, it will be 2.86. Okay, we'll just leave it aside. Okay, uh, in this case the current 3 is at 2.86. We'll leave it aside the implication. We'll just do the calculation then after that form our conclusion. So, um, following the same steps, okay, you will be able to find that the voltage is 2.86 uh, for V3, okay, it has reduced. And since this is 2.86, but the voltage is still 5 volts for the battery, then you find that the V2 would be of a different value, in this case would be 2.14, okay. And then I2. Okay, since we know that the V2 is 2.14 and uh, the resistance of L2 is still 1 ohm, so I2 would be just using V2 divided by R2 would be 2.14 ampere. So this is 2.14 ampere. Again, following the same reasoning, this is 2.14, this one is 2.86, which means that you would know that this plus this would be equal to your 2.86. So if we want to find what's the current that's flowing in this branch one, would be just simply subtract. Okay, so this will be 0 0.72. So let's just sum them up. Okay, if your real state is 1 ohm, you'll find that this is 1, 2, 3. If your real state is 2 ohm, this is 0 0.72, this is 2.14, this is 2.83. So the result is that this would be uh, the current is reduced, this current is increased, this current is reduced. So you can make the conclusion that light bulb 1 will be dimmer, this will be brighter, and this will be dimmer. And if you look at all the given choices, dimmer, brighter, dimmer. So D is the answer. Okay, of course the calculation can be tedious, but if you are strong in your concepts, you can actually reason it through uh, concept. Okay, because in terms of increasing the real stat, actually uh, increasing, the real, increasing the resistance of the real stat will cause an overall increase in the total resistance. So if you increase your resistance, what will happen is that overall this R will also increase and which means that uh, if your R, uh, L3 resistance is not changed, you find that the total in resistance still increase. Okay, so if the resistance increase, which means that the current that's flowing through uh, light tree will be lower. Okay, so in this case, it will be dimmer. Okay, another thing, okay, is that if you increase the resistance in uh, branch 1, which means that this part, the resistance is increased, so the current that is actually coming flow through, less current will actually flow through branch 1, so which means that the light bulb 1 will be dimmer. And the other case would be uh, if the current flowing through branch 1 is reduced, which means that the current flowing through branch 2 would increase. So in this case, this would be increasing in brightness. So that's the how you can work it out. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.